I've done this once before, I can do it again. One, two, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What? what? What are you doing here now, man? No, you was not challenged to take the ice bucket challenge. What? You was challenged to take part in the shiny challenge. Oh, the shiny challenge. I don't know why you sitting here looking like a dumb fool with this ice bucket, man. You looking ridiculous. You know what? I got a bad idea. Wait, how did I get here? <laughs> oh, wow, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens. Y'all know who this is. This is your boy, True Inferno, and today's day is Wednesday, March the 22nd. So at this point in time, the legendary dinner hour is officially over. And you will see everything that went down during that time on Saturday's video. So before we get to the meat of this video, which will evolve around shinies, Speaking of which, let's talk about next month's community day, shall we? Much better. So, the feature Pokemon for next month's community day is Slack Off. So, I know you guys have complained about this, like, why Slack Off? That, that's not good. But let me explain something to you guys real quick. You mean to tell me that you want to ball out on a more oppressive Pokemon for community day? Five days? Before a go fest, you're gonna need a lot of Pokemon slow, uh, storage, rather. But the problem is, you want to use up all of that storage on Community Day, which is again five days before go fest. No, take it easy. See, with me, I'm good with just six. Normally, I would go for double digits, but I'm gonna try to go for six shiny slack offs. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna stop. Oh no, I'm not doing that. But you get the point. I'm not trying to ball out before uh, GoFest because I'm trying to save up my storage for GoFest. So, you should too if you're going that is. But you should too. Alright, so with that out the way, now let's get on to the meat of this video. So as you saw earlier, your boy has been challenged to take part in the shiny challenge. So yes, that's what's going on right here. We got the shiny challenge. Shout out to Ludo Clack who actually challenged me to take part in the shiny challenge. So now, before I even show you guys my shiny collection, which is quite a lot actually, and it was growing, it, it's, it grew today, spoiler alert. But anywho, I gotta challenge people myself. So, the first person I'ma challenge, this is no no-brainer, Hybrid Mongoose. So yes, Hybrid Mongoose, I am challenging you to take part in the shiny challenge. So, the next person I'm going to challenge is Film blogs. So yes, film blogs, man. I am challenging you to take part in the shiny challenge. Now my third person that I want to challenge. It was tough. God, I wish I wanted to challenge three people, but people were telling me no, just do four to make it easier. So I'm like, okay. Since there was really no definite rules or regulations from Reverso, since he created this, I'm gonna go ahead and challenge four people. The third person I'm going to challenge is my other Poke Crew member. Poketron. So Poketron, I am challenging you to take part in the shiny challenge. And the fourth person I'm going to challenge, and this one's going to be interesting because I'm going to see if he's going to notice this or not. I don't know. But we'll find out. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to challenge JT Gilly. So yes, I am challenging JT Gilly to take part in the shiny challenge. So basically, here's how this works. If you're a challenge, then you got to show off every single shiny, as you can see over there, every single shiny you have in your collection and this is a lot now granted some of these are from community days but this is still a lot we're gonna go back up top actually and before you even talk about these shinies you got to challenge at least two people to take part in this challenge as well so and obviously they're gonna make a video about this so you're doing it all in video format so with that said let's get into it because this is gonna be a long video so the first shiny that I ever caught was this right here this picture and actually I have done a video on this actually I was at some park I forgot the name of the park I was at some park out in Livonia as my game froze there we go and it don't it don't show me where I caught it from but I was in was it Livonia or Farmington Hills or it could have been a borderline but it was at some park up there and I found this shiny Pikachu in the parking lot and I was really excited as you can obviously tell all right so we're back at the parking lot structure, the sun is out for a little bit, and we got a Pikachu right here. One of two. 
So, let's catch this. Wait a minute. Is that the shiny? That's the shiny! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, Dog, this is it. Wait a minute. What is it? CP or 10? I don't care. This is it. We finally got it. It's the shiny. Dog, look how it looks. Great throw. Hit it on his left eye. Bruh. One. Two. Yes, we caught our first shiny Pokemon, and it's a shiny Pikachu. I don't believe it. Look at it! It is! I saw the spark! Oh my god! Oh my god! We caught it! We finally caught one! We finally caught a shiny Pikachu! Next up is the Gyarados. Now, obviously, this was a magic card. Now, I mentioned this in the video as well. So I was at that part, now I remember exactly where I was in this case. So this was obviously 2017, and actually the first one was also 2017. So this was like 17 days later after the, my very first shiny, I caught the second one, which was the magic card. And I was at a parking lot, Walmart parking lot in Livonia, and I managed to saw two magic cards. And then you know the rest. I just left Walmart to pick up something for my room. And I noticed on my nearby list that there were two Magikarps. So I'm like, let me not exit this parking lot and grab these two Magikarps. And the first one, okay, whatever. The second one, bam, there it is, the shiny. And it's a CP of 10. We ain't, we ain't messing around here, though. We're going to use a, a RAS. And we just gonna throw it. Ooh, that should have been a great throw. They robbed me of that one. Let's see if I let's see if I got it really. Two. Yes! I finally got it. A shiny magic card. Alright, the third one was this joint right here, which I obviously evolved. So yeah, the shumpy. I found a shiny shumpy and funny story, and I didn't record this live, but I did mention it to you guys in a video. And obviously, I evolved it up to a uh, Super Saiyan Blue Bayonet. <laughs> Last week, Friday, I saw Justice League at the movie theaters in the same parking lot structure as San Flamengo. I told y'all this story already. So you know what I caught here, right? Bam! This right here. Next up is another Magic Card, which I evolved to a Gyarados. So... I was at Taylor and this was, this was November 27th. What was the last one? The last one date was November the 17th, actually. Can we go backwards? Yes, we can go backwards. So yeah, November the 17th. I'm not sure why they're not mentioning the locations, but whatever. But anywho, I was at Taylor, Michigan. There was a park, Heritage Park. It was a magic card nest. And I remember being down there, I crap you not, seven days out of nine days or something along those lines. And that was also when we had the... Uh, the uh the it was some type of challenge the world catch challenge i think that's what it was with it and then they announced shiny ho ho but yeah i actually got this in video as well i'm supposed to be gone man i'm supposed to be at home three minutes ago but look over there there it is we got one 77 cp dude we are not messing around no that's not what i want we are not messing around here dude and then we're going to evolve it right now we're doing this right now evolve right now let's go there it is is the shiny give it those this is the super saiyan god give it those right here <laughs> yes all right so the next one is this joint right here and this was i let me check this out let me before i get on to that look at the date so i called this one november 27 2017 and my next shiny was february the 10th 2018 so it's been a good minute since i got a shiny here but yeah i finally got a shiny this joint right here. Now the reason why I call it a Super Saiyan Sunni is because of this. Originally I was going to call it Super Saiyan, you know, and then the name of the uh, Alteria or whatever. But I caught this in the back seat of Sunni's truck. So they was like, oh man, you should call it Sunni. So I'm like, okay, I got a better idea. So I called it Super Saiyan Sunni. So there you go with that. Moving on. So now we get on to the second ever community day. So the first ever community day, I kind of passed up on catching the Pikachus because my mindset was I got one shiny already and I was focusing on the raids because it was like double XP something like that I wanted all the XP at this point I was trying to get up to level 40 so on Dratini community day obviously I took part in that so here's one right here and then here's another one and then we got this one that I call Super Saiyan Rose and I only caught three now this right here was very interesting because on the same day as you can see February 24th I was live streaming the aftermath and I caught this thing right here. 
while we were raiding, because Wild Eye and Kyogre was out and about, so while we were doing these raids, on, on, my, on our way to another raid, I caught this thing right here. Cops all over the place right here. Oh, shiny error check. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a shiny! Oh my gosh! Dog! There it is! It's the shiny error! Oh my gosh! Live stream, you are seeing it! We got a shiny freaking Aaron right here. Next up, we got another shiny Swablu that I found in Dearborn. Not much to talk about there. This was obviously in March, but yeah, not much to talk about here. And then we got a uh, shiny Saber Eye right here. So this was on the same day. So I caught two shinies on the same day, which is pretty dope if I do say so myself. So, and of course, like at this point, I, would, I had to have a name all my shinies Super Saiyan, especially that gold color. But yeah, that was pretty dope. I caught two shinies on the same day. I felt like I caught a hundo on that day as well. But yeah, let's move on. Shiny Lugia. So obviously they introduced Shiny Lugia to the game. So this was 20 days later and I got this one in a raid obviously and then I got this on video as well. I got 11 premier bars which is an improvement from the 10 that I've been getting. Hey, right, there it is, let's go. Daddy, let me go, let's go. Oh my, wait, 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 wait. Then we got the Bulbasaur community day which was on March the 25th. Obviously I took part in that. So yeah, we got these two, three, four, five. So I got five shinies right there. And then this, this was my pride and joy right here. I hatched this thing. I remember where I was at, uh, where I got the egg from Dearborn, but I was at my secret spot when I hatched this. And I was so happy because not a lot of people had this. And then of course I evolved it all the way up to this bad boy. So yeah, a lot of, uh, not a lot of people had this. So I was really happy about that. And it got them Bret Hart colors with the pink and uh, black. That's pretty cool too, but yeah. Really like that shiny. Really, that's one of my all-time favorite shinies right there because it was rare at the time. Then I got another shiny Lugia, which I did not get on video, but this one have good IVs, as you can clear. See, 96% IV, and that was on April Fool's Day last year, so that was pretty interesting as well. And then we got Marie Community Day. I remember that it was raining like crazy, and I still and we was walking around out and about, and I caught one, two, yeah, one, two, three four, five, six, yeah, six shiny Mareeps. Then we got another magic card, and I was in downtown Detroit. Don't let that location fool you. I was not in Canada when I got this because of the whole GPS issue, whatever. But I was in downtown Detroit when I got this one, and I made, I think I was live streaming that day, and then once it was over, I caught this. I don't remember much about this one, but yeah, there you go with that. Then we got this joint right here, the Hariyama. So this happened during the time where I was on a hiatus. I took a week off because I had a lot of stuff going on. Nothing like, you know, I wasn't like dealing with no emotional issue. There was no personal issue or anything like that. It was just I had so much going on. So I'm like, okay, let me take a week off. And I ended up getting this joint during the fighting event. And of course, obviously I evolved it all the way up. So yeah, and I caught this while I was in Dearborn, so. Shiny, 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 yeah. Look at this shiny, I have lost my mind. Oh my, look at it, it's another one. I feel sorry if you don't have one. I just caught a shiny, ooh, another one. Then we got Charmander Community Day. The, my worst community day ever. Because, let me explain something to you guys. You all should know this, but in case you don't, Charizard is my all-time favorite Pokemon. So when I found out that it's Shiny 4 was coming to the game, I was obviously excited. So when I ran out and took part in this, I only caught these two. That was it. I only caught two Shiny Charmanders. That was it. It, it wasn't like, oh, I started late, or I could only take part in, in one hour. No, I took part in the entire event, the entire event, three hours, and I only managed to get two shiny Charmanders. That was the worst community day of my life. Oh, I wanna cry. Just the worst, the absolute worst. So moving on. Then we got this joint right here. So I mentioned this in the video, obviously. So this was during the adventure week, actually. So I got the Armor Star right here. Well, it was Armor Knight, obviously. Then I evolved it up to Armor Star. And apparently I caught this out in reference. I don't remember where I was at in reference when I caught this, but I was on the reference and this was on 
June the 4th. So my shiny look happened going downhill, but last second cheese for your boy as always, and your boy managed to get a shiny almondite, which will be over here actually. Yeah, over here, a shiny almondite. So yes, your boy did indeed get a shiny almondite. So this was actually before my trip to Indianapolis last year, which is ironic. So speaking of that, we'll get to that in a second. But before that, we got another shiny magic card, which was eight days later out in Redford again. So again, I don't remember much about this. I don't remember where I was at or where I was doing. But obviously, I got a shiny magic card. So your boy was getting lucky with the shiny magic card. Then this is my fourth one that I'm showing you guys. Then we get to what happened last year in the Apples. So now we got the shiny Tyranitars and the shiny Pupitars and the shiny Lavatars. You get the point. And why is this one named Holly? Because Holly caught this one for me, obviously. And matter of fact, this one's named DS1 because he caught this one for me, obviously. Whoa, this is True Inferno's fourth shiny Lavatar. Let's catch it. Well. <sighs> What's, what's that one for you, five? Yes. We are tied at five. You realize that, right? Now we get to the shiny Rosalina, which was on June the 30th. Uh, this was in Taylor. I don't remember exactly what I was doing in Taylor. Either I was at the mall or this was at Heritage Park. I don't we Oh, no. I remember what I was doing. We had those special field research, and I went down there because I had to, I think it was like the Catch 10 Ghost type, and I knew that there was like a ghost spawn at Southland Mall at night, so I went down there, and I was trying to find ghost type Pokemon, and I ended up with this as well. I think that's what happened. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe that's what happened. So, yeah, there you go with that. Moving on. Then we got this joint right here, and I was out in, in Arbor, Michigan. I don't remember exactly what I was doing. I know I was working out there for a bit, but I don't remember whether or not I caught this near the job. Actually, I think I was, near, no, I was not near the job. I think I was at a nest or something, I don't remember. But I still managed to find another shiny Makuhita. I kept it as is, 49er. I'm not trading this, by the way. I don't care if I got it evolved form shiny. I'm not trading this because it looked like a 49er um, player. So I'm not trading this at all. Then we got, July's community day, which was obviously Bulba, not Bulba, sorry, Squirtle. And of course, we got the uh, Squirtle Squad Squirtles, you know, shiny as well. So we got this right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we got 13 of these joints on that day, which is pretty dope. I don't recall trading one of these, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Alright, so then we got Go Fest Weekend right here. So this is last year, obviously. So I got me on that Saturday, I got me a, some minums and some plusos. This one was 84% IV. So I think I caught two, yeah, I caught one of each on that day. And then of course Sunday was my day. So I caught some more minums, as you can clearly see. I caught another plus, which is right here. And then we got this right here. So you also know the story, but in case you don't, here you go. <laughs> I was talking to Pokemon Go NYC, AKA James. He was live streaming, getting me on his live stream. So yeah, go check out his past live streams. And then bam, your boy got a shiny realm of while talking to James. So now after this, here's the thing that some of you may be confused about. So at around that time frame, right? I actually caught two of these. So yeah, I caught two of these shiny realms, and obviously I evolved one to a shiny whale lord. So here's what happened. So after I caught the first one and I got done talking to James and I was on Niantic TV, they got me on film or whatever, and I was talking to the cameraman about this, and I shot that video, I actually found another one. So that little montage clip of me catching the shiny realmer, that was the second one at GoFest. And then later on that night, it was me, uh, JT Valor, Pokétron, and Finn Bloss. You know, the Poké Crew, we ran out that night, we went to the pier, and we were looking for some more shinies. So obviously, Pokétron and JT Valor, they were getting the shinies. I got this. This is a brand new shiny for me. I was live streaming. Pokétron was actually shooting a video, or try to shoot a video, but it was kind of dark. I was live streaming, and it was laggy as heck, but I did manage to get this right here in the live stream. And we, all four of us caught shinies that night. It was crazy, man. I had a really great time. That was one of the best moments of GoFest that year. Then we have Zapdos Day. So I found a 84% IV Zapdos that knows Thundershock, which is the legendary quick attack move, obviously. So, yeah, there you go with that. Then I got me another shiny Mugro right here. 
and I was out in Dibble. I don't remember what I was doing. I may, more likely I was at the Civic Center. Not 100% sure on that, but I was in Dibble and I just happened to stumble upon this thing right here. So, yeah, that was in August. So, this was actually, remember, so quick, I think this was before I left. This was actually before I left and went to the Bahamas. I got that. Then I came back to the Bahamas for Evie's Community Day. So at the start of that Community Day, shout out to my boy Cyrus. We actually did a trade because for Articuno Day, I did not get a shiny Articuno. He didn't get a shiny Lugia. So I actually got three of them. And I traded one to Osiris. We had to wait until our friendship levels went up for a bit. And then once that happened, bam, we did the trade. I traded him a shiny Lugia. And he hooked me up with a shiny Arno Kuno. So shout out to Osiris for that. Now, we got the Eevee. So we got all these shinies, Eevee and Eeveelutions and things of that nature. And any second now, you're going to see that right there. So I obviously evolved this to a Roserade. And wow, it's there at Roos Park this whole time. So yeah, this was during the EV Community Weekend. So this was the Saturday portion right here. So yeah, I got this in the middle of the EV Community Day. And actually, there is a video. I do have a video on this as well. So we're gonna keep it moving. Bam, we got the Glaceon right there. Another one. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it. Hey, Booster. Leave a comment in the comment section below where this name came from. Moving on. All right, so here we go. Leafeon, shiny Leafeon right there. Boom, right here. So, let me explain something to you real quick. This was Sunday's EV Community Weekend right here. And, obviously, I was at the Civic Center. At the time, it was a Houndour nest. So, I got my first Shiny Houndour right there. And, it, obviously, I evolved it up to a Super Saiyan Blue Houndoom. <laughs> but, yeah. There you go with that. We're going to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You know, obviously, all these were for EV Community Weekend. And then, bam. There's my second. Same day. Crappy not. Rosalina. So, I found a shiny Rosalina. Either I was at the secret spot in Redford or I was at Livonia. I don't know why they call this Redford, but that parking lot structure at the Walmart Target area, that's actually Livonia. So, I guess you could say that's the borderline, but I did get a shiny Rosalina down there so this happened august 23rd and there's a video out on this so this was doing my agent 313 days if y'all remember that and as you can clearly see i'm still looking for clues looking for any hints looking for anything that could guide me in the right direction of the culprit is this really celebi another one or is this some individual pretending to be celebi what, what's going on? We got it. We finally got it. We got a shiny Pico. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about, man. I cannot believe this. We got it from that field research. But all right, let's move on. Then I got a nod to the next day. And I was out either in Redford. I think I was at the Livonia joint. Again, that parking lot, Walmart Target parking lot when I caught this. And obviously, I evolved it up, obviously. Then we got that Ringo weekend. So this was, I think there was a Safari Zone event going on where they introduced Shiny Ringo. And I caught two of these on the same day. They may have, one of these may have been home, uh, a house spawn. So there's the first one. And then there's the second one. And notice that the CP for this one is 112. <laughs> but yeah, there you go with that. And then here's the second one right here. Then the next day, I was out at rain michigan this one's this one do say romulus but no i was actually in rain michigan and yeah i actually got this on video actually i came down here because there was a gym opening for your boy and look what i stumbled upon a shiny ringo so yes these were finally introduced worldwide this weekend then we got another shiny muck row. and again i might have been at the oh no yeah, wait what was i at? oh no no this wasn't it yeah this was the one this ain't the one i was thinking of there's one I was thinking of, so you probably wonder why didn't I evolve this to the Murkrow? We'll get to that. But I believe I was at the Livonia spot, that parking lot with the Walmart and the Target. So I think that's where I was at. And then we got the Shiny Marl. So apparently I was out in Livonia. I don't remember where in Livonia I was at when I caught this. But obviously I did a raid. But I don't remember at what Pokestop. But oh wait, no, no, I think I kind of do. Uh, it wasn't at that parking lot. It was somewhere else. It was like north of there. It was north from that spot. But that was pretty dope. I will admit, I, I was shocked when I got this right here. Now, 
This joint was on the same day. I was shocked to get this as well. So the Metacham, I obviously I bought this up from a Metatype to Metacham, and I called it Wolverine. Look at them colors. That is the Michigan Wolverine colors. That blue, that maize and blue, obviously. That mud looks sick, though. So I called it the Michigan Wolverines. And this was actually the shiny that I wanted during the fighting event. Not the Makuhita, no offense, but I wanted this one more. But you know, I said I take the shiny Makuhita. I got two of those, obviously. I feel like I traded one, but before I still ended up with two, but you get the point. But yeah, this is the one I really wanted. I really like the color combo. Obviously, Michigan Wolverines go blue without question. Then we got this joint right here. So we got Motris, Motris Day. Motris Day. I think I'm about to say Motris Community Day, but this was actually Motris Day. And yeah, I actually got this one on video, obviously. We stuck my lucky egg in my- Oh yes! There it is! Your boy got one! 1853! Shiny! Let's get it! Then, like a few weeks later, they brought all three of the legendary buzz back, and I actually went out and got my own Articuno, shiny Articuno. This one got 84% IVs. Same day, bam, we got the shiny Moltres. I don't think this one, have, well, obviously this one does not have good IVs, but yeah, got that one on the same day as well. Then, a few days later, I found a shiny, no, this was actually Chikorita Community Day, my bad. So let's see how many of these I caught. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I caught 13 of these joints on that day. And then while I was out at the Civic Center, I remember I was out at the Civic Center, Center ah, Civic Center rather, when I got this joint right here, October 1st, I believe that's my cousin's birthday actually. But yeah, I caught this October 1st last year. So that was pretty dope, that was pretty dope. So then we got this joint right here. So I, I forgot what the event was called. Some of you guys may remind me in the comment section below. But I did get the shiny needle ran, female needle ran that evolved all the way up. So I was out at the Civic Center looking for this in Dearborn, obviously. And I was like, okay, I'm good. So I was on my way home, and there was one that popped up while I was driving. So I, I'm like, let me check on it. Bam, it was shiny. Now I had, I caught a grand total of three of these. One of these I traded. We'll get more on that later. And the other one, I will show you guys in a few minutes. But let's keep it moving. Metal Gross came here today. All right, so this one's going to be interesting. So check this out. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Same day. And yes, I do have this on video. The, you know, Metal Gross Community Day video. It is on my channel. And obviously, I caught the Shiny Paco. This is my second one, obviously. Out in the uh, Dearborn, obviously. So yeah, this one was pretty dope, dope right here, if I do say so myself. Eight, nine, ten. All right, so I caught ten that day. The last one I named Hug Robot, which is a tribute to Holly because she had a regular Metal Gross that she named Hug, Hug Robot or X Hug Robot. So I'm like, okay, let me get a shiny and name it that. Bam, there you go with that. Now we get to the reason why those last two shiny Metal Gross I did not evolve to a Hunch Crow. This is right, right here. So this happened during the Halloween event. So this is how it got started for me. I was in, I think Kedra's vehicle. It was me and Afro and Kedra were driving around. I think we were doing raids. You were doing raids. And I found this, and then a few minutes after that, this, the witch hat, the shiny witch hat Pikachu. So I got this joint, and this was my buddy for a good minute. And then I remember I live streamed that night, and then, yeah, I got me a second one the same day. The same day, I got me a second one right there. And then the next, well, not the next day, like a few hours after that, I was live streaming past midnight. Yeah, so yeah, I got the shiny drip loan right here. So it was pretty dope if I do say so myself. And then later on that day, no, two days later, my bad, I got me a drip loom right here. So yeah, that was pretty dope if I do say so myself. All right, so let me explain to you about this trade as my eyes don't hurt for some odd reason. But let me start, let me explain something about the trade. I don't remember what I traded my homie Sunni. Uh, it was either a uh, shump it. Or a Dusko. I feel like it was a jump it. It was one of those two. I don't remember which one it was. I had more, more than one of those. And I traded that to him. He gave me a Charmander? I'm not sure if it was a Charizard already. Or if it was a um, Charizard when he traded to me. But when, once we did the trade, it was lucky. It was lucky. And we couldn't believe it. So we was tripping out. We was at the Civic Center parking lot when we did this trade. 
And mine obviously got 91% IV. And he named it Judge for me because on Discord, I go by the name Judge True Inferno. So if you see me around Discord, there you go. You should know this already. But shout out to SUNY for this trade, man. Then we got Game Guard Community Day. Good old Game Guard Community Day. So a lot was going on that day because it was Humankind Weekend. And I couldn't be there because I was taking part in this. So I caught, if memory serves correctly, I think I got three shiny Gengars. One of them I traded to somebody else. The other one, y'all should know what happened to it. We'll get more on that later. And then obviously they released Shiny Pinza that same day. I believe, it wasn't it a Safari Zone event going on that day as well? That weekend rather, I don't remember. But they did introduce Shiny Pinza the same day. Was it? Yeah, it was the same day. And I caught me a few of those. I even caught me a shiny Chikorita on this day as well. And then there's another shiny pincer. And I caught this one while I was at Yumacon. I was in a hotel party at Yumacon when I caught this one right here. And then a few days after that, they uh, introduced more shinies. Ponyta, Rapidash, Cubone, Melrack. And I went to town with this one right here. So obviously, I got the Ponyta and I evolved it to Rapidash. And as you can clearly see, I named it Rapid God. Because look, look at this. This is a shiny God right here. And you gotta say it like that, G-A-W-D with the exclamation point at the end. So yeah, Rapid God. So yeah, and this is one of my all-time favorite shinies. This is like one of my top five favorite shinies in the game right now. And then I got the Merrack the same night. It, oh, really, the Cubone that I evolved it up to Merrack. More on the Cubone later. And then I found a shiny Ponyta that same night as well. And again, this is one of my all-time favorite shinies. I like this one more than this one, even though this one is majestic as heck. But that blue flame, I really like that blue flame, obviously. This one right here. So, obviously I did a video. I went out to a park out in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Cause I only explored half of it. Well, not half of it. I basically explored 30% of it. No, more less than that. I'm going to say 15% of it. So I'm like, I'm going to explore the rest of this. So I went out there. It was a great park. Kind of cold, but it was a great park. And then this happened. Well, I've been walking for a good minute. I had to stop the montage because of this right here. A shiny love this. Yes, this is my very first one. We are not messing around with this thing. 441 CP. Cinecrow Community Day is here, folks. So, November 10th, obviously. Let's see how many of these things I caught. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this one was lucky. Got traded with somebody. So, was that the same day? No, that was not the same day. So yeah, I caught 10 shiny Cinecrills, and obviously I did a lucky trade with somebody and got this right here. So that was pretty dope, if I do say so myself. Now we get to this joint right here. So this was a crazy day right here. So at this point, they introduced new Pokemon. So, uh, I forgot the Rezo Pokemon with the spinning tail. I forgot what that joint is called. But I know what it looks like. Y'all know what, what, what I'm talking about. I was trying, cause there was one that spawned up at this one spot. You couldn't get in it unless you pay. So I was like hugging up on the wall trying to find it. And as I was trying to find it, my eggs was hatching and bam, I got the shiny Togepi and I named it Shiny Zori because I know uh, Togepi is her favorite Pokemon. So bam, and I would never evolve this. So I want another shiny Togepi so I can evolve it. I would never evolve this one. So there you go with that. Now we got the my, the shiny Mayena. Obviously, it was a shiny uh, Pugiana. No, yeah, Pugiana. Yeah, Pugiana. Where was I at when I found this? Oh no, I didn't find it. It was traded to me. That's right. So shout out to a meme. He traded this one to me. I forgot where I traded him, but he traded this to me, and that one was pretty cool. So we got this. So this is actually funny. This was actually pretty funny. This Pokemon. Well, not this exact Pokemon, but this Pokemon. But uh, but this Pokemon actually put me on the map on Twitter because there was rumors of Shiny Magnemite and obviously Magneton being released in the game. But it was again, it was rumors. It was sketchy. I didn't believe it, and I just so happened to be out at the Civic Center this day. So I'm like, is this legit? And then I click on one. Yeah, it was legit. And Trainer Tips, he actually retweeted that tweet. When I said, well, yep, I guess it is legit, something like that. And that mug blew up. It was crazy. So, yeah, that's the start of my Twitter sensation right there. So that was pretty dope. Shout out to Trainer Tips for doing that. But, yeah, that was crazy. 
Then I found this out in a raid. Was that the same day? No, that was a few days. That was seven days later. So this one right here. So again, this was out in that Livonia spot. And I found this and I evolved this all the way up to a Dust Noir. So yeah, Shiny Dust Noir. It looks weird, but it, it, it's all right. It's all right. But yeah, very crazy Shiny right there. Then I found another Shiny EV. You know, not much to discuss. It was out in Dearborn. But a new last resort, so that's interesting, as I'm getting pictures now. So that's interesting, I'll check that out in a second. Moving on. Then I found another Dratini out in Dearborn. Was that the same day? Yeah, that was the same day. I don't remember why I was doing it in Dearborn that day. Oh wait, was that the, um, that's when they released every single, I think, I thought it was in December, but that's when they released every single feature Pokemon for Community Day. So yeah, so yeah, we got the Eevee, we got the Dratini, yep, there's the Venusaur, obviously there's another Dratini, Scrotto, Tr yeah, yeah, Metagross, yeah, that's exactly what that was. And I did Lucky Train, got a Lucky uh, Shiny Dratini, which I evolved to Dragonite, which is good for Great League, obviously. Then I got another one of these, yeah. And that, that was carried over that whole weekend. Yep, got some more of those, got that, yep. Mm-hmm, yep, there's that, the Pikachus, yep. I forgot all about that event. We begs the question, would they do that again this year? You think they're gonna do that again this year? Who knows, it's a possibility. All right, so let's see. We're gonna keep this going. Yeah, yeah, that's the same event. And I got another one right here. This one, 96% IVs. So obviously that's one of my go-to Pokemon right here. So then I found my own Poochyana, my own shiny Poochyana, out in Dearborn. Uh, again, I don't remember what I was doing. I don't remember what the event was, but more likely there was an event. But I was out and about, and I was looking for shinies, and I found a shiny pooch. And then three days later, I found this thing, the shiny trumpet, 91% IVs, which is really, really dope. And I was out in Livonia, actually, for this one. Was that the same day? No, the next day, I found another shiny pooch, which was pretty crazy, if I do say so myself. And this one was in Dearborn as well. Again, I don't remember what the event was, but I got me a set. Oh, it could have been a Poochyana nest, as far as I know. But yeah, I got me another one of these right here. All right, so now, two days after Christmas, I got a shiny Growlithe right here. And this was obviously, again, in Dearborn. So the nest might have changed to a Growlithe, or there may have been an event going on. It may have been a dog event, actually. Seeing the Pooches and now the Growlithe, it may have been a dog event going on. I don't remember, but I did get the shiny Growlithe. I was really happy to get this one, actually, because Growlithe and Arcanine really like those Pokemon without question. Now, this trade right here. So this was traded to me by Halo Funnest, but y'all should know him as Muhammad Hussein, who is one of my moderators. I traded him a shiny female Nidoran for this right here, because I did not get this at all. He said he had extra, so he would go trade it to me. So I'm like, and actually, we talked about this in a live stream. In the live stream, we talked about this in the live stream. So yes, we did the trade right here. The trade went down on December 28th. So shout out to you, um, Hussein, man. Thank you for this trade, man. Then we got the Christmas or the holiday event where we got the, the what is it? The holiday hat Pikachu, whatever. But yeah, I remember I was at the secret spot when I found this. I was listening to Drake. So yeah, you should follow me on my Instagram. Because, yeah, some of these were posted on Instagram as well. And then we got another shiny item that I found more than likely at the Civic Center. Again, I don't remember what I was doing the day after New Year's, but found this. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, whatever. And then I hatched this. Uh, I believe this had to come from Bridget. Like, she gave me a gift, and I got an egg from it, and I hatched this thing right here, and I evolved it up here. Happy Valentine's Day. So this happened, not necessarily on February, but it happened in January, but I called it Happy Valentine's Day just to flex to people that, hey, look what I got now. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to you, Bridget. Mad love, much love to you. And then, after searching, I finally found a shiny shelter and I just love this color combo. Orange is my all-time favorite color, my favorite solo color. Get back over here. And I found this thing, I'm like, yes, I finally found one. And I was, where was I at? I guess I was at Livonia. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I was at Livonia. Yeah, I was at Livonia for this one. And this was called on January the 10th. And then, and then here's the deal, here's the deal with this one. So you probably wondering, you caught another one back to back? No, uh, shout out to the homie Chris. Like we've been talking about doing a trade 
for a few weeks now. And because I got this, it made that trade much easier because I was like, yeah, I need a shiny uh, shelter. And he traded me one for, I don't remember what he asked for. I forgot. So Chris, if you're watching this, please leave in the comment section below. What exactly did I trade you? I, I forgot. I traded him a shiny, but I don't remember what the shiny was. But it was one that I already had. But I don't remember what it was, though. So, yeah, Salty IRL in real life. But, yeah, shout out to Chris. He actually found this the day before the trade. Wow, that's crazy. And then, of course, I evolved this right here, obviously. But, yeah, that one was pretty dope. The same day as the trade, I, yeah, I remember. I was actually at the Livonia Walmart Target area. Found this. I think I'm either I was live streaming or not. I don't remember if I was live streaming or not. But yeah, I got this. It was crazy, man. It was really crazy. Then we got uh, Total Dial Community today. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I got, you know, some shiny Total Dials. And this was on January the 10th. Yeah, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, some of these are all right. And actually, I need to evolve some to his middle form. I have none at the middle form. Like, what the heck? Which is weird, but okay. That's interesting. I'll take care of that off camera, obviously. So then we got this right here. So, here's the deal with this one right here. Y'all, actually, y'all should know the deal with this one. 91% IV ground down right here, man. Really shocked to get this one. And 16 Premier Balls, and let's see the first... <coughs> <laughs> the first one is a shiny. Let's get it. The first one is a shiny for your boy. Wow! I cannot believe that. 2328. Wow. Wow! I can't believe that. The very first one. And then during that whole ground down event, I got me a second shiny ground down. Which was pretty crazy. Obviously, we was right out of the Dearborn. And yeah, I did get a video of this one as well. It was pretty crazy. I was looking for a hundo, but I got a shiny, a second shiny ground on instead. So the next day, I caught this one. And then on the same day, I got a shiny Makuhita. Now, actually, this one, I have no problem trading. Since I have two of these and I got the Evolve form, I had no problem trading this one. So yeah, there you go with that. I got this one the same day I was out in Dearborn. So yeah, there you go with that. Then they brought out, you know, Shiny uh, Taylor out there with the Miami Hurricane colors. So I got this one right here. I evolved it to Swellow, obviously. So I got one right here. And then we got Phoebus Community Day. I, oh man, that was a crazy day actually. Uh, I got some right here. Uh, I thought I had more than one, but I may have to go out and look for some more. Hmm, that's interesting. But yeah, we're going to keep it moving. And then they brought back Ground On and Kyogre. So obviously the shiny forms were in the game. And I got me a shiny Kyogre, 93% IV. This was on the 24th of January. And I don't know. This was not on video. This was not on video, actually. Uh, and then we got the shiny Psyduck. I don't remember what the occasion was. I think they just like introduced it. Like, hey, we got shiny Psyduck. Bam, I got a shiny Psyduck. All right, so now it is February, and I got me another shiny Duskull right here. So apparently, I was out in Livonia. I don't remember exactly what I was doing, but, or not where I was doing, but where I was doing, but where, or more importantly, where in Livonia I was at when I got this. So I don't think I was at the spot that I've been referencing all throughout this video, but yeah, I got me another shiny Duskull. So that's what's up. Oh, yeah, and then we got this thing right here. So... I was live streaming, so yeah, they introduced Shiny um, Mel Metal in the game, and or you know Shiny Melton rather. And I was live streaming. I opened up the box. Actually, my Nintendo Switch is over there, by the way. And bam, I actually got one on like in the middle of the stream, and I evolved it all the way up right here. So I got me a few of these actually. This one is reserved for Lady Brittany, so I'm gonna give this to her or one of these to her rather at um community day which is coming up in two weeks from tomorrow from the day after i upload this video actually all right so let's keep it moving so i got me another shiny pony top this was on the 13th and yeah three days after that yeah i was out in livonia i don't remember what i was doing in livonia uh i may have been there's a, i know there's a park or uh, i forgot what it's called but it's this one spot near my job so i was over there I think I caught that while I was over there. So, another shiny ponytail. That's what's up. Can't complain about that. And then we got a shiny love this. Obviously, another one right here. 
Really dope. I was out in Dearborn. This was the next day. Again, I'm, I think I was at the Civic Center. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I think we had a Shiny Love disc down there at one point. So I'm like, oh, let me find me another one. Bam. Got me a Shiny Love disc. All right, so on the 16th of February, we got Swine Up Community Day, and obviously I spent it out in Dearborn. So yeah, let's take a look real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which I named Erica. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 15. So I caught 15 of these joints. So yeah, I did pretty good on this day, obviously. Then we got this joint. So the clamp, oh gosh, the clamp event. Woo, that was a fun day. So this was on the 23rd. And I was going crazy over the clamp pearl and... Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking something else. My bad. But yeah, we got these right here. And then I found a shiny sun duck. And I did find another shiny Phoebus, which I traded to somebody for a carnivine. So, oh yeah, shout out to Rapture. I traded it to him for that. So yeah, I got me a shiny side duck as well doing that event, which is on the 23rd of February. Another shiny, so yeah, and that's pretty much it. I got two more regular shiny clamps. So yeah, that was pretty crazy right there. Then we got Latias Day, or the Latias event, where they introduced shiny Latias. So I finally got one, 89% IVs. I was out in Dearborn, obviously. And then after that, they brought out shiny Rattata and shiny Pidgey, and I got me a shiny Pidgey, which I evolved all the way up to Pidgeot. So yeah, that was pretty dope right there without question. And apparently I was out in Livonia. I don't remember where in Livonia. I think it was that parking lot, but and this was on the 27th of February. But yeah, that was pretty dope. But then after that, I did get another shiny Latias, 84% IV. And then I found a shiny Zelda out in Dearborn. Was that the same day? That's the same day. Yeah, the same day as the shiny Latias on the 28th. So yeah, that's what's up. So I got me two of these joints and a shiny, um, the Evolve form. I can't think of what it is. But yeah, I really like that color. Then they brought Meltan back. So Shiny Meltan was back in the game. And I got one. So yeah, that was pretty easy for your boy. And this was on March the 3rd. Obviously, I was at the crib. So that's interesting. I don't know why I call that reference. But yeah, that's not true. But yeah. No, wait. I think, was I out? I think I, I was out and about when I opened up that box. So I may have been at the secret spot. I don't remember, but I did get one. And I may have been live streaming too. But yeah, that was pretty cool if I do say so myself. Oh, I got another one. Same day, actually. So I think I got two in the same box, more than likely. Yeah, I got two in the same box. All right, so now we got this. So here's what happened. I got this one. I remember this, actually. This was a house spawn right here. So... I was watching, because Trainer Tips was live. He was doing a live stream, and I was talking to Erica on Twitter. And I checked this Caterpie at my house, and it was shiny. So I'm like, yo, I just caught a shiny Caterpie while talking to you. And then she was like, you should name it after me. I'm like, okay. So there you go. I named this one after Erica. But yeah, there you go. I want another one, because I like the color of the shiny Caterpie. That gold looks sick. I, that's really the Metapod, that orange. It's really sick. So I want two more of these. Hey, then your boy found another shiny mukrow. Yeah. So I, I got like three or four of these. Yeah. So, yeah. And I was in Detroit. I don't remember where in Detroit. And this was on March the 9th. But was this the same day? This? Yeah, this was the same day. So that's pretty interesting. But I guess I was out somewhere or going somewhere and I caught this. So, whatever. Okay. All right. And then I hatched this right here. I don't remember exactly where I was at when I. Oh! Duh, no, I take that back. I do remember. Remember the first ever legendary lunch hour? And the main Pokemon was Dialga? This was on video. So right at the store, I was having a bunch of eggs. This was one of them. This came from Australia, Liverpool. So this one might have been Starseek, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure. But the shiny smooch, I have not evolved this one. I'm not sure if I am going to evolve this. I like how this looks right here. So, yeah. And then on the same day, I caught that 100% Dialga, which was really dope without question. And then five days later, I found another shiny female Nidoran. So I traded one away and I got one back. <laughs> Isn't it funny how life works? That's pretty crazy if I do say so myself. And then on the 19th of March, I, I think I was in Dearborn. Yeah, I was in Dearborn. I found a shiny Manatite. It may have been a Manatite nest. 
But I got one. I was like, okay, I got the Metacham Evolve, you know, shiny form. I want a regular one, and bam, there you go. So I got the shiny Metatype. And then I found a shiny Eevee. I don't remember exactly where I was at. It said Redford, so this could have been that Livonia spot, or it could have been somewhere else in Redford. I don't remember. But I found a shiny Eevee on the 20th of March, which was pretty cool if I do say so myself. And this was what I actually traded to me by Ali. I don't remember exactly where I traded. Oh, yeah. Uh, this was... This was an IOU type of trade, and I managed to trade him a shiny Badook. I did have the shiny Badook. We'll get more of that later, but I did get another one, so don't worry about that. But yeah, he gave me a shiny Deli Bird, which is cool. Shout out to Ali for that. And then they introduced the shiny semi regional Soul Rock and Lunatone. So I remember this one. I was out at the Civic Center, I was talking to Rapture and Kedra. And we were all out looking for this thing. And then five minutes after I got done talking to him, bam, I got this right here. So that was pretty dope, if I do say so myself. And then we got Trico community today. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we got fifteen shiny Trico. This was out in Dearborn on the 23rd of March, obviously. And then we got Another trade. So let's check this out real quick. Who traded me this one? Suni. He traded me this one. What did he want? It? I don't remember what I traded him for this, but I f dang it. Oh yeah, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the tailor, the shiny tailor. I caught two of those joints, and I traded him one for this right here. So yeah, that was pretty cool. That trade went down on the 28th of March. See, so, yeah, that was pretty cool. Then we oh guys, we got this day, man. So yeah, this was on the 30th of March. So this, we had the shiny cast form, and we had one more shiny, the low tads. Oh my God! So I caught three shiny low tads. The cast form was no problem for me. Check this out: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, I caught eighteen of those shiny low t uh, cast forms. And if you if you seen the live stream, that last minute drama when I caught these two, I was so happy when I caught these two. I was driving all around the place trying to find these low tads, these low tads crests. Yeah, they, you can only get them from field research, but these you can just get from clicking on cast forms, regular ones that is. But yeah, that was a crazy day, man. And that was on the 30th. That was a crazy day. Then on April the 8th, I got me a shiny Aaron. I don't remember where I was at when I got this one. This may have been at the Livonia spot. I think this was at the Livonia spot. But yeah, I got this right here, obviously. Oh, yes. The good old bug event. So they introduced Shiny, Scissor, and Scizor in doing the event. The problem was I did not get one during the event. Even though we went to a Scissor nest, which was out in Canton. But then I came back after the event, and I got one. They were pretty easy to find once the event was over, which makes no sense at all to me. But it is what it is. Then we got Bag on Community Day, which was on the 13th of April. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah. So here's the thing with this one. So my first lucky friend was my alt because we did a raid and, bam, we became lucky friends. So I traded with my alt. And at the end of that um, video... And we remain lucky friends. Like, we, we became lucky friends again. So, we did this trade. And this one was a 96% shiny, lucky Kyogre, which was pretty dope. I do say so myself. Then Latios came out in this shiny form. And I had a field day with this one. I think this was my first one. I think I think there was a video on this. And obviously, I was at Dillborn when I caught this one. And look at that. I got two. And matter of fact, was that on this? Oh, yeah. And they also introduced this as well. I think all this was on the same day, the 15th, the 15th, and no, this was the next day, the 16th. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And I found another one and another one. So yeah, I got four of these joints. Uh, that was on the 18th, a day after this, and that was on the 19th. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Now this was traded to me by my boy Reg. Reg Boomer 3, some of you guys should know him. He's one of my moderators. He actually traded me this. I forgot what I traded him for this. So Reg, if you're watching this video, please remind me exactly what did we trade? And this on the same day, I got this too. So yeah, shout out to Reg for hooking me up with one of these. Cause to this day, I have not been able to find 
one of these at all in a row on my own. Then I was out in Dearborn and I got me another one of these. I forgot the name of it. So why is it called White Rabbit? I'm saving it for GoFest. So yes, uh, an Australian individual who played the game called White Rabbit is looking for one of these. So I'm like, yeah, I can trade one of these. Uh, she's gonna trade me a region exclusive memory serves it correctly. But yeah, we got a trade out. I think she's gonna trade me a relic and memory serves it correctly. But, or a chatot, one of those two. But yeah, we got this right here in this reserve strictly for her. So yeah, there you go with that. Then they introduced Shiny Sucker out there. So Shiny Sucker came out, oh, along with Shiny Lapras. So I found this right, I was in Troy. Yeah, 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 I was doing, yeah, I was doing a bunch, I was collecting some Lapras field research, and I was checking the shiny circles, and bam, I got one right here, and another one, and I was in downtown, apparently, I was, yeah, I was in downtown Detroit, so don't let that location fool you, I was in downtown Detroit when I caught this, and in the same spot, I found another shiny Baneri, so that's what's up right there, and then, I was in Dearborn when I found this right here, and I evolved it from a shiny drowsy to a shiny hypno, that was crazy because I was kind of looking for this one, couldn't find it, and then I finally got one. So yeah, that was pretty dope. The pride and joy. The pride and joy. You all should have seen that live stream or the recap. But if you missed it, here it is. Alright, so we're going to go with number three. I like Kenya Martin's reasoning and three was in the lead. So here we go. We're going to open up the bottom field research. Shiny Lapras. Oh, yes, we got it. Oh, my God. We got it. We got the Shiny Lapras. Oh, my God. Yo, this is it. You seen it. You seen it. We got the Shiny Lapras. Oh, my gosh. Yo, we got the Shiny Lapras. Oh, my gosh. We got it. Bruh. Yo, we got the Shiny Lapras. Shout out to D Ray! Shout out to D Ray! Oh my gosh! Yo! We got the shiny! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's all I can say about this one. Ah man, that's all I can say about this one. So yeah, again, I don't know why they said refer. I was actually at home in Detroit, but I caught this doing the live stream at home. Very dope without question. Then I found this! And I, it was funny, I called it this because this is like the one shiny that Nick cannot stand. So I'm like, oh look, look what I found, I found this. So I changed the name, took a picture of it and posted it on Twitter and tagged him. And now he hates me. He wants to kill me. So I'll be avoiding Nick in Chicago. <laughs> Alright, but not just playing. But, oh yeah, I? Not just playing. I, I think I'm playing. But anywho, we're going to keep it moving. Now, I don't remember what I was doing or where I was at exactly. But right before the Vegas trip, which was on the, uh, the 28th, this was on the 25th. I forgot what I was doing. I think I was out and about. I think I was at the Lavoyan spot. And I found a shiny Charmander, which is good because remember, I had that sucktastic of a Charmander community day. So this was pretty cool if I do say so myself. Ah, good old Vegas, baby. So yeah, this is recent. So y'all should have seen that video. And yeah, Las Vegas, Nevada. I was inside, you know, that joint. So y'all should have seen that video, but in case you didn't. So I'm inside Caesar Palace. I'm inside the mall portion of Caesar Palace. And look what I found in here. There it is right there, the shiny Diglett. Yes, there it is. The blue nose is the giveaway. We are going to go all out and capture this thing real quick. Yeah! So, yeah. Oh, guys, do not quick catch this. I do not want to quick catch this or try to quick catch it because it may run away. But we got it. We got the shiny Diglett. Yeah, there you go. And then... We got this. So, again, you all should have seen not just this video, but Pokemon Master Holly's live stream. Again, I was still out in Vegas, but in this case, I was in North Las Vegas. But, yeah, that was a fun time, really fun time. So, we still live streaming. Your boy, you got <laughs> Shiny Cuba. Shiny Cuba. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I'm about to catch it real quick. <laughs> so, during that day, here's where the other shiny Gengar trade went down right here. So, 
If you seen the live stream or my video again, you should have known I've done a lucky trade with Holly because me and Holly was lucky friends. Look at that, traded by Pokemon Master Holly. Man, I'm treasuring this thing for a long time. So yes, we did the trade, Lick and Psychic, Shiny, and mine got 89% IVs. Not good for Great League, but good for Ultra League. But yeah, this is pretty, pretty dope right here, man. Thank you, Holly, for that trade. Thank you, Erica, for that great experience that I had with the Shiny Cubone and the Lucky Trade, man. That was crazy. Oh, and then I don't remember exactly where I was at out in Vegas, but I found another Shiny Diglett. So this was obviously after the whole you know scenario with Holly and Erica and Melissa as well. Yeah, so this was the day I left. I left Vegas and went back home. So I may have found this either at the airport, going to the airport, or while we was at the hotel, I don't remember. Or I was walking around prior to us leaving. I don't remember what I was doing, but I found another Shiny Diglett out in Vegas. Then we got this thing right here. Super ugly, cause this thing is ugly. Oh, they don't let you, oh yeah, they don't, they don't like the word ugly. So I, I put the IE at the end instead of the Y. But where was I at when I caught this? I think I was at the, the Livonia spot on May the 8th, I don't remember. But yeah, super ugly. Cause this thing is ugly. Then we got another shiny Charmander. Uh, more like I was at the secret spot. Or they could, no, this was the house spawn, I remember. Uh, this was the house spawn because I was watching a cruise ship live stream. I stepped away, went to the kitchen, got something to drink. And I'm like, oh, there's a Charmander right here. Shiny. And I came back like, yo, I just got a shiny Charmander. <laughs> he was shocked. But yeah, it was crazy. And then recently we got Torture Community today. So let's check it. Well, I mean, we all should know the magic number here. I got 13 of these joints right here. So I'm not going to count these. So yeah, this was recent as heck. Now, uh, so yeah, this one in the gym. Along with this one, that's also in the gym. Where are you? Kind of want to reveal the last shiny that I got. So yeah, so this was this past Sunday, actually. So. I mentioned this at the beginning of this video, or well, near the beginning of this video, rather, which is a long video. There was one shiny that I got earlier today. This, yes. So before I start recording this video, I actually got the shiny mischievous because the Civic Center right now is a mischievous nest. So what we about to do is we about to evolve this bad boy right now. We're getting this off the way right now, and I'm hoping that my camera do not go out on me because it's got low battery right now from all this recording. So, yeah, here we go. The Shiny Machievous. Yes. Wow, that thing looks so grow up like. <laughs> but yes, and this is a Pokedex entry right here, too. I've been saving it just for this, uh, the Miss Magnus. So, we're gonna, let me see if we can change the name. That's that. Yes, cool. Okay, Shiny Miss Magnus. So, that's all my shinies. So yeah, that's every single shiny that I have. Now, what's been popping up here? I was about to say, that's shiny. We got another uh, addition there. But yeah, so that's gonna do it for this video. It's a long sh uh, video again. So again, I am challenging Hybrid Mongoose, Film Blogs, Pokétron, and JT Gilly to take part in the shiny challenge. So, with that I like how the camera just cuts off right when I'm about to do my outro. But with that said, y'all know who this is. This is the New Jack Gatsby, a.k.a. the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes! We got it! Oh, my God! After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Shiny, 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 yeah. Look at this shiny, I have lost my mind. Oh my, look at it, another one. I feel sorry if you don't have one. I just caught a shiny, ooh, another one.